Welcome to The Topic, where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. Houston has become a foodie mecca over the last decade, and HCC is here to train the next wave of culinary wizards. Katie Rangel joins us here from the HCC Culinary Arts Program. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Glad to be here. So Houston has just blossomed with restaurants over the last really 20 years. You know, we've got some great places here and we've got some great students that have blossomed from the HCC program. Tell us how popular is the Culinary Arts Program? Are you seeing a growth there as well? Yeah, we're actually about to move into a brand new state-of-the-art facility that will uh, potentially double our capacity. Right. So uh, we have a current waiting list for our culinary program program. Uh, That's we have a good. lot of engagement yeah. and interest. What type of certifications? Can you get short-term certifications, two-year degrees? Can you go on to four-year degrees? How does that work? We have short-term certifications. If you want to get in, you can finish a certification in about a year, or okay. you could do a two-year associate's degree. It takes about two years if you're going full-time. And then we have uh, other colleges that we work with where you can transfer into a four-year degree, but you can complete right. an associate's degree here. What, are, what is some of the most popular things that people come to you and say, I want to do this, I want to be a chef, run my own restaurant, what is it they want to do? Running their own business yeah. is really what we see a lot of interest in. It's flexible, sure. you can now with social media, Instagram, Facebook, you can get yourself out there and sell your product on your own. So there's a lot of interest in that. But we also work with people that work in some of the best restaurants in right. the city. So we do a bit of everything. So I imagine though the, the wave of the, with the Food Network and the celebrity chefs, that's making it a popular thing. But I would imagine there's a lot of hard work that goes into opening your restaurant. You're working all the time time from what I understand. Yes, people think that there's flexibility, yeah. but really you uh, are working seven days a week working for yourself all right. the time. So it's, Especially it's intense. Especially when you're starting it up, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And we offer classes that kind of guide you and teach you how to do those things as well. The business aspect. Do you find people who are currently working at restaurants who maybe want to increase their earnings or make themselves more marketable that come in to get some more certifications, short-term certifications? Yeah, absolutely. And I think a lot of people think our program is about cooking, but it's about a lot more than that. Right. Logistics, ordering, purchasing, managing, hospitality. It goes into a lot of niche uh, avenues you can get into after going through our program. And you can get short-term certifications and two-year degrees in just about all of those? Yeah, we offer a short-term, one-year certification, level, level one certificate, level two certificate, right. and associate's degrees. You know, I, I know um, because I've dealt with him a lot, but one of the more famous... Uh, folks who graduated from her program is, is Hugo Ortega. Mm -hmm. And he's a huge, very popular chef, both here in Houston and nationwide. Um, do you see a lot of folks who become in, who are inspired by people like Hugo and other local products? Absolutely. Hugo's story is a lot of our students' story. Our culinary program and our school have the most international students of any other sure. community college. And so that creates a wonderful dynamic for food service. We learn about all different cultures and what's different in other parts of the world. So uh, the immigrant story, Hugo's story, starting from scratch, coming here, looking for opportunity, is the same story of so many of our students. So absolutely. What is one of the biggest misconceptions that students come into the program that you have to say, no, it's really done this way? That it's all fun and games. Yeah. Uh, it requires a lot of discipline, a right. lot of diligence, and a lot of really hard work. It's a physical work, so it's not. A, it's fun, yeah. but there's two aspects to it. Well, you got to enjoy what you do, especially if you're going to be doing it long term, because you're spending most of your life working in a job, mm -hmm. in a field, so you might as well enjoy what you do. But I would imagine um, a lot of folks come in and think it is a lot of fun and games. But I know from people who worked in the food industry and worked in the food service industry that it is a lot of hard work. And I guess that's something you guys work with the students on. Yeah, it's two-part. You, you have to keep it lighthearted and fun, but you do also have to do the work. You have to produce something to serve to people. And so it's, it's twofold. Right. Well, Katie Rangel, I look forward to having you come back in when you guys open your new facility. Yeah, come and check it out. That Absolutely. would be awesome. Oh, we're definitely going to mm -hmm. be there. I appreciate you being on the topic. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to learn more about the culinary arts program, you can log on to hccs.edu slash culinary arts. For the topic on HCC TV, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.